Claire's Craft Corner for me and you. Claire's Craft Corner, let's make something new. Good morning and welcome to Claire's Craft Corner. We're back again, somewhere slightly different this week. We're over in the church hall. But the craft today looks very interesting and exciting. And what we're going to do today is we're going to make passports because you have a passport to show that you belong to a country. So most of us have probably got British passports because we live in Britain. But today we're thinking about being a citizen of the kingdom of God. So we're going to make our very own passports today. When you open up your packet, you will find all sorts of interesting things inside your packet. The most important bit is probably this little booklet, which looks like a lot of fun, and we'll look at that in a minute. You've also got a piece of paper, which I've started to fold in half, this blue card, to make the front cover of our passport. And I've also gone one step ahead, and I've coloured in my world already. I've coloured slightly strange colours, but I think they look quite pretty. And I've got my cross cut out nicely, and the word passport. So, shall we start by making the front cover of our passport? So fold your piece of blue paper in half, find some print stick and stick first of all your world onto the front of your passport. There we are, can you see? And then I'm going to stick the word passport on my passport too because I think it looks very authentic. It looks just like a real one, I think. There we are, passport. But then I've got this special cross and I'm going to do something a little bit unusual with this cross because this cross is the cross to remind us that Jesus died for us and that's why we can be part of the kingdom of God. And I'm going to put that cross on top of the world. Can you see? So that it shows that anybody who is in God's kingdom can be a citizen. So the next thing I'm going to do is to write my name and I'm going to pretend I'm very official. I'm going to write the word name here. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. And I'm going to write Claire Fillingham on the front like that. So there we are. That's my front cover of my passport. But it's not much good at the moment because there's nothing inside it. So if you open up your passport, you'll see that you should be able to fit your little booklet inside. And if you notice, you've got a page that says all about me where you have to draw a picture of yourself and put your name and your age and your birthday. And then there are some squares here for you to draw some pictures of your family. Then over the page, it says, some of my friends and leaders from Rock TV Live. That would be quite fun to draw those. I think you should do pictures of Sheridan, that made me laugh. And then people I would like to invite to the Rock TV. That's a lovely idea. Maybe you've got some school friends who might be, enjoy coming along. We could always invite them, couldn't we? And then, oh look, this is our Bible verse of the day. You are fellow citizens with God's people. So that's something you can colour in to remember. And the last thing it says, what can you do to fill up someone's bucket today? Do you remember that from last week? We were learning about buckets. So there's lots of things to put inside our passport. Well, what I'm going to do is use the front cover of the inside part of the passport. Gluey, gluey, gluey it. So that, I'm going to turn it around to face you, so that I can then stick my page down like that. So that now when I close my passport, it opens onto the front page, do you see? And I'm going to do the same on the back. I'm going to put some more print stick on this part of the back page. Oops, gosh, I'm losing a lot of print stick there. Oh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? And then I'm going to stick it down. So now I've made my very own passport and it's just a question of filling it in. But that's not the end of the excitement because you would have noticed that also in your pack you've got some stickers. Well, I think they look very much like passport stickers. And a stamp. Well, I've got a funny picture on my stamp. But I thought it'd be really fun for you to use your stamp and things inside your passport as well or maybe on the back page you might want to put a stamp just to pretend that you've been somewhere this was somewhere you had to go or you had to be quiet looking at my one it's very strange isn't it and maybe a sticker you could put on that says canada this is another place you might have been um anyway you could decorate your part in a passport however you like but it's really fun and i hope you enjoy it 
We'd love you to see some of your work on our Facebook page later. Thanks, bye. Claire's Craft Corner for me and you.